This is part five in our series of lectures on the principle of mathematical induction, and in this one we're going to do a third example of a result in which we make use of the principle of mathematical induction to prove it. And here's the one that we're going to prove. We're going to prove that for every natural number n, 8 divides 5 to the 2n minus 1. Now some of you may look at this and say that it's obvious. Um, there's something one can use called modular arithmetic, and if you make use of modular arithmetic, if you know anything about modular arithmetic, you may think of this as being completely obvious. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in the course. Um, so I want you to do this as an exercise in the uh, principle of mathematical induction and not to do it using modular arithmetic. So go ahead and uh, put your video on pause and see if you can write a proof of this using principle of mathematical induction. Well, here's the beginning of my proof. So I begin by setting things up, by telling you what are all of the open sentences that I wish to prove are true. So for each n in the natural numbers, we let p of n denote the open sentence that 8 divides 5 to the 2n minus 1. And we tell the reader that we're going to use principle of mathematical induction in order to prove that for all natural numbers n, p of n is true. Then we have the basis step, in which we verify that p of 1 is true. So how do I write that down? In a good sentence, I say for n equal to 1, 5 to the 2n minus 1 is 5 squared minus 1. 25 minus 1 is 24. And since 8 divides 24, it follows that p of 1 is true. So that concludes the basis step. Now we come to the inductive step. So in the, in the inductive step, we give ourselves a generic n in the natural numbers, and we assume that p of n is true, and then we have to deduce from that that p of n plus 1 is true. So what does it mean to say that p of n is true? It means that 8 divides 5 to the 2n minus 1, and so I'm going to find it useful to write down the working definition of that statement, it means that there exists an integer k such that 5 to the 2n minus 1 is equal to 8 times k. Now we're going to try to deduce that p of n plus 1 is true. In other words, we have to prove that 8 divides this quantity. It's the 5 to the 2n minus 1, where we replace n by n plus 1. So here's my proof. We have... 5 to the 2 times n plus 1 minus 1, what is that? Well, I can factor this as 5 to the 2n times 5 squared, which is 25. So it's equal to this. And now, since we know something about 5 to the 2n minus 1, I'd like to get that in the picture somehow. So we do the old trick of adding and subtracting this minus 1 um, from the 5 to the 2n. Okay, so I've looked at this, I've opened up a little parenthesis, and I've put minus 1 plus 1. Now, if I keep this together and multiply by 25, but 1 times 25 minus 1 is 24, so that's equal to this. Now I substitute 5 to the 2n minus 1 for 8k. So I put an 8k times 25. I wrote it in this order because I wanted you to realize that an 8 factors out of this. It's 8 times 25k plus 3. And now you see, since 25k plus 3 is an integer, we deduce that 8 divides this thing here. In other words, 8 divides that. So that's exactly what we needed in order to prove that p of n plus 1 is true. And so, we have the right to say that it follows from the principle of mathematical induction that P of N is true for all N, and that completes the proof.